But our next speaker is going to be uh, someone who actually represents the people who we're here to talk to today. Uh, this afternoon, many of us are going to be going around, including the students, including the, everybody else who came from different parts of Texas, going to be going around visiting with their state senators and state representatives. But one person we don't need to go into their office today because he's coming here to see us. So uh, that person is Senator Elliot Shapley, and he is from El Paso, and he's one of the people who has sponsored uh, in this session and in the past session a, a proposed constitutional amendment that would give the governor the power to call a moratorium. Because right now the governor doesn't have that power. So Senator Shapley, he's one of our heroes, and here he comes now. I want to Jeannie. It's great to be here, and I want to talk about this very important issue. You know, uh, I guess it was back in the 2003 session. The moratorium bill was before the Senate Committee on Criminal Justice. And the issue was whether or not we'd give the governor the right to grant a moratorium so that we could go back through cases that had been filed, back where cases had resulted in convictions, and look at issues like DNA evidence. And not a week before a bill came out on DNA evidence that said this evidence can be used to establish guilt or innocence and it's important. It came out of the Senate 31 to nothing. And yet sitting in prison cells across the state of Texas were those convicted without the benefit of that very law. And you look at 12 individuals in Dallas County alone who've come out in the last three years on the basis of DNA evidence being used to demonstrate without a doubt that they did not commit the crime, they are now free, and yet we have in jails those that did not have the benefit of that law. Twelve states have seen the light of day. To say that you cannot be a society that is based on the rule of law if you don't respect the rule of law in establishing guilt or innocence. This state must join civilization. This state must respect the rule of law. What differentiates us in this great democracy from every other democracy in the world is the rule of law. And if we can't, in the most important of all decisions, rely on the rule of law to establish guilt or innocence, then who are we as a society? This moratorium is common sense, and it's something we should have done a long time ago. Thank you. Yes.